All right, what's going on, everybody? So it has never been easier to boot up an Urbit Planet. They've been making it easier for years now, but now it's literally like five to 10 clicks. And in less than about five minutes, you will have full control over a cryptographic asset that you own. And that lets you log into a truly, purely peer-to-peer -peer internet. And you'll actually be talking with people and exploring content on the internet underground. So I'm going to walk you through it. This is going to be specifically for people who have access to a planet through a URL or a link. So if you buy a planet or someone gives you a planet and what they give you is a URL, this will show you exactly what to do step by step. So just click the link or paste the URL into a browser just like this. It should look something like that. And you'll land on a screen that looks like this. So this is Bridge. Bridge is the app that lets you interact with the Urbit PKI, which is basically just the identity system on the Ethereum blockchain. And so here you see your sigil that you're going to claim. This is the graphical representation of your planet. And this is your planet's name, or in Urbit speak, we call that the Pat P. And yeah, just click the button claim and we'll move forward. Okay, so here it's going to give you your master ticket, which is basically Urbit speak for your main password. So treat this with the utmost care. If you use MetaMask or you're familiar with crypto, treat it like your wallet seed phrase the thing that you control that really represents your hard ownership of the asset, in this case, the asset of your Urbit planet. So write it down on paper, maybe put it in a safe deposit box. You make your own decisions. That's liability is all yours. Okay. Uh, you can get better with that kind of security over time if you want. For now, just make a note of it somewhere safe. I'm going to close this while I do mine. Oh yeah. It's also going to invite you to download what they call the passport. Do that, download it. It's just a folder and it's got three things in it. I'll explain them in a minute and boom, it's going to land you on a screen like this. This shows that you have claimed your planet. It now belongs to you. You have the master ticket. No one else has it. Uh, don't give it to anyone else. So long as you have that master ticket, this is your identity on a peer to peer network. No one ever can touch or take away from you. All right. So keep handy the passport folder that you downloaded because we're going to use that in just a minute. Now we are going to download the port app, which is just the graphical user interface, the desktop app that you will use to boot up your planet and join groups or download apps. So go ahead and click this button and now just download it, install it, and then open it up. So once you open the app, you're going to have a few options. Click the option to boot a fresh ID. All right. And when you do, you'll see something like this. So all we have to do is teleport our planet credentials and then we'll be on the network. So in this first name field, that's just whatever you want to call it. You're only going to see that. So just call it something for short. I'll call mine Ron Mex, the first part of the Pat P. And then for this, you have to put in exactly what the Urbit ID is, the Pat P with the tilde. So in my case, it's Ron Mex Wandag. So there it is. All right. And now you have to grab one of the three files in that passport folder you just downloaded. So just click that button that says choose key file right there and then navigate to the passport folder you just downloaded from bridge. And you want to look for this one that ends in the dot key. That's your file, choose it. And you've now given port everything you need to confirm that it belongs to you. And now we're going to boot up our ship, click continue right here. So this will take a few minutes, just go kill some time, get a drink, do whatever you want to do and come back. It shouldn't take too long. It can take five minutes or a little bit more in some cases. Real quick, something to note is that that key file you just used, you can junk it now. You only ever use that one time to boot a ID for the very first time. So that's not crucial or important like your master ticket is, just so you know. All right, we'll just give this a minute and I will come back when it's done. All right, when your ship is done booting, this is what it looks like. It says, your ship is ready, enjoy the landscape. Landscape is the default app that you're dropped into. So go ahead and click this button, let's go. All right, there you go. You're on Urbit. So there's a lot you can do, which you'll learn over time. But for now, let's just do a few quick things. Up here is your notifications, this blue dot. Go ahead and click it. You'll see there's one prompt real quick from the system asking if you want to open Urbit native links. I would go for yes. Go ahead and click that button and turn that button on. So that way, like in my newsletter, every now and then I'll drop a weird looking Urbit link. That only works if you're on Urbit. So this will let you click on one of those weird Urbit links and it will actually bring you to the content deep in the catacombs of the urban network. Okay, so you can X that out. And so real quick, why don't you just join my group at least, come say hi, and so you can see at least an example of one little community on Urbit. If you click groups, it will bring you into this 
view gives you a new window and by default it's pretty blank you'll see there's just a little weather app and these little options to join groups or start a new group go ahead and click join group and then go ahead and type or paste in this hat tricks last stud forward slash other life i'll put the exact string in the show notes of this video or wherever you're finding it and then go ahead and click join it'll ask you if you want to join all channels might as well sure why not and share identity that's not too important at this point because you haven't really given it anything i'm pretty sure that this refers to the profile which you can choose to add or not i'm actually not certain i'll check on that i always click both of these whenever i join a new group so take that as you wish go ahead and click join group and then view group and voila this is my group the other life group on urbit you'll see there's a few channels there's some long form essays that live exclusively on here there is a little notebook slash email newsletter and we have a couple of chat rooms all right you've booted your planet you're in complete control of it and you can now move around groups and do whatever you want download some apps and learn more if you want to go deeper into urbit and learn the different things you can do with it and how cool it is just go to this channel here new arrivals start here and I'm creating some quests slash tutorials that will walk you through cool things like downloading apps and stuff like that. And I'll also explain things as we go. So stay tuned for that. And soon I'll be adding to this group a whole directory of other cool groups that are open and public on the Urban Network. So from my group, you'll be able to explore um, all over the place, all the cool, interesting, weird things going on the network. All right, so that's it for now. Congratulations. I told you it'd be quick and easy, and I hope you found that it was. Send me a DM on Urbit if you want, or I'll see you in the group. Later.